Hello everybody, welcome back to Arco. Last time we went and dealt with a strange shrine that had a bunch of monsters and some skeletons in it, and then we went and investigated a strange house covered with gooey larval insects and found a gold nugget inside of the one of them, but it made us very smelly. Now we're coming over here to try. Uh, there are footprints here. Newcomer tracks, but none match the boots. The bandits of Paquini mentioned probably are nearby. Um, yeah, we're smelly, and so that's causing problems. A lone traveler scrambles to his feet when he sees you, bobs his head nervously. Howdy. The man bobs his head again, then gestures at some fruit and herbs on the ground. You seen any bandits around? The silent trader frowns and shakes his head. There are bandits in these parts. The trader looks alarmed. He starts panicking. He signs thanks and gives you some fruit before departing. A may may. Thanks. Big ass fruit. Tac Tac's favorite. Plus three HP. Okay. Let's get to max HP. Uh, we're at seven XP. I want to get this thing for 14. Look for the bandit camp. Yes. The path widens as you hear voices in the distance. You've reached the bandit base. Okay. You notice a trap set in the grass. You disarm it and move on. A bandit stands watch ahead. He looks half asleep. Oh! Damn. I was moving. I didn't know I could get past here. I was like testing the waters and we are hurt for it. Unfortunately. Uh, 3 HP is too much. You sneak up on the guard from the bushes. You wrap Ar your Arco string around his neck and muffle his shouts as you drag him into the bushes. You gained one XP. Oh. Interesting. I don't know why I assumed he was facing away from me. Tracks everywhere, but still no match for the footprints from the burned village. Maybe they didn't do it. You'll see this through one way or the other. There's a chest there. Meat and lizard skin. You find a good spot for an ambush. A hornet hive hangs high in the branches, out of reach. Uh, hit at the hive. You reach to hit the hive, but it's too far. Ah. Uh, we have 8 XP. That's not enough for what I want. We've got a shovel guy and a gun guy. Let's bend out of the way of the gun guy. And then they are my priority. Alright, that's gone very smoothly. New friend up ahead. Buckshot Brigand. Looks like it's okay. Dash back. Finish him. 3 XP. They were younger and faster, but not as ruthless as a wily old bastard like you. you Gained 5 XP. Search for boots that match the newcomer. Search for Kanex who could have dropped the necklace. Look for boot prints. You can't find boots that match. Search for the neck. Canex who could have dropped the necklace. You see some Canex and Ios among the newcomers. Maybe one of them dropped the necklace. Seems unlikely considering Canex here are dressed entirely in newcomer clothing with no war paint. I don't think this group burned Mezekeo... Mezeku. We need to keep looking. Ring and meat. Oh, but... A load of stuff. I don't know what these little particles here are. That is anything at all. 
Loads of extra food, which I'm super grateful for. I think we're still stinky, right? Uh, as for our XP, we can get to this. Okay, so now when we move, we're doubly effective at regaining our magic, which is very nice. Right, there's all the way back west, which we can't go because of these one-way lines here. So the only place to go is the Meadow Crossroads. It's going to be a bit of a hike. So I'll pause the recording and unpause if anything appears. Well. Some tasty looking blueberries thrive on the bushes. I mean, I'll take it for sure. You're still just hanging out up there. Right, we've still got like five extra nodes to go, so I'll be back. All right, it looks like this is it, yep. I was just wondering, also, we have this gold nugget. I'm sure we could sell it, but possibly we could put it on the shrine that takes shiny gifts up on the Monk's Hill. The forests only get bigger from here. You'll be dead in Kanak territory soon. Great confidence. Thanks, game. All right, well, we can go bog or chili tree. Let's go to the bog. Little little froggy toads. Hungry toads surround you. Oh. Giant deadly toads, huh? You are doing a jumping AoE attack. Burper. Pukes a 5 times 2 damage bullets at a target that when hit. lunge. I didn't pay attention to where they were landing. I don't love that they're going to blow this thing up. Interesting. Oh, it just retaliated back, I guess. Different color. Pink toads. Okay. Lots to be paying attention to. Shoot tongue. Oh, I missed. Nice. Toad skin and toad legs. All right, I'll take it. Um, what does Mezcal do? Makes the voices stop, kills all visible ghosts. Yep, figured that might be what that was. We have seven XP. We now have the Magia buff. Um, plus one ability slot is probably what we want next. And then we can really start leaning into skills. Looks like the perfect spot for fishing. I need some bait to fish. I have a shovel, but I have not used it for anything yet. Herbalist house. Excuse me. A friendly herbalist house. Greetings, traveler. You look capable enough. Capable enough for what? He tells you about a mutated species of insect. To reward you if you bring him its juice. Fallen tree added to map. Lush. Let's go check out the chili tree first. You hear thuds and shouts like someone is fighting a tree. Some idiot girl is fighting a tree. A buff young woman dances around a tree like it's a boxing opponent, jabbing and punching while she yells. 
Damn fruit picking. Damn water fetching. Damn. Oh, hello. Tree done you wrong. Uh, no. She flexes her impressive muscles at you. I think I got these from picking chilies. Ain't nothing wrong with picking chilies. They're tasty and keep your blood circulation good. My blood circulation is pretty good, see? The Kanek hops back and forth, showing off her speed and huffing her breath out in quick bursts as she jabs at the air. You shake your head. Still, you like the cocky young fighter. You gather some chilies from the big tree. Go easy on them, they're not outsider friendly. Super spicy. Remove stun, give speed boost, plus one HP. Interesting. Donkey. Alright. Let's head up and over to these mutated insects. An enormous tree trunk blocks the path. It's crawling with huge insects. Nothing's easy. How are we for health? We're fine. Giant beetle crawls out of the trunk. That's a very big beetle. Oh, it's got like a, a boss health bar. Intriguing. Zero. Interesting. They have made some babies. Ah, stunned and upside down, huh? Well, the baby wants to attack me. I want to attack them. Did we get it? Nope. Okay, this is going to be a whole thing, isn't it? What are you doing? Shoots 30 times one damage. Excuse me? Oh yeah, that'll do it. Okay, all the explosives are gone. I dislike this development. Something going on over here as well. Okay, they are about to jump. They're about to flip when they land. Except they don't. Oh, this is annoying. Uh, excuse me? How did I blow up? Or did I land on one of those things immediately as soon as it appeared? I'm confused. Uh, how do we preserve the explosives? For when we need them? This is a fantastic question. Right, they are jumping. I'm moving to the other side of them so that when they land... How did they not flip if they exploded? I don't understand the rules of this encounter.
Now they're upside down. Now they're upright again. They're moving. They're spawning. They're shooting a thousand bullets. I'm very unsure how we maintain the explosives we need to get them to flip and everything else we need. Alright, we're back. They are jumping to here, which is not what we need. I'm going to heal. Right, we're out of those. They're going to shoot a thousand bullets. They might clip this, but the area of this explosion, I don't know if that's the same area as their AoE or the area of them. That's more like it, I think. Throwable, two damage, makes targets stuck for three turns. Well, they're stuck, but they're upright. That didn't work. I was hoping they would spawn upside down and then be stuck. This fight sucks. <laughs> All right, I'm going to fall back. Maybe we'll come back to that when we have some more skills or something. Although we don't have anywhere else to be going on the map right now. I guess we didn't try and go to the right-hand side of here. Yeah. That gives us more options. Let's just check our quest book. Beetlejuice, sure, visit the palace. If you want more information about those ties, then go to the Palace of Nobles. That was it. Okay. All right, we probably need to start developing our skill set rather than just having more of everything. You see a piece of wood sticking out the ground. We have a shovel. Gained five coins. Did that break our shovel? No, we still have a shovel. Awesome. Hopefully... The shovel will soon pay for itself. Is this like Tijuana, but not quite? Tijuana? Not sure. There's an awesome display of wealth and a grand palace. It's vi that that's visible visible from the whole city. Show offs. We still stink. Tacos, tamales, best food in the world. Let's see the menu. And some frog's legs. Lizard skin. Can we eat the frog's legs, I wonder? We can, so I might as well hold on to those. There's... Looks like some guards... The shopkeeper snorts awake and glares at you with bleary eyes. What's wrong with you? Can't you see I'm busy? The dewy leaves care for your wounds. Snares. Toes legs. Lizard eggs. Antidote. Tamal. Delicious meal wrapped in banana leaves. Perfect travel food. Oak skin.
How do I talk to the nobles? Oh, sure. Me and nobles. We're real tight. I can tell you all about them. You snickers. Do I look like the type to rub elbows with the snooty tooties? All right. Nothing out to the east. Do the nobles want to send me on some kind of quest? The Palace of Nobles is hard to miss. You can interrogate House Channel about the necklace here. See what they have to say. Approach. Might as well. The ridiculous number of steps is hard on your old bones and you're grouchy when you reach the top. What is it, Io? Are you lost? I'm here to talk to the nobles. He laughs in your face. That's a good one. Show him the necklace. You show him the necklace and he pales. That belongs to Lady Two Skies. Why didn't you say you knew her? You're quickly escorted to a room full of gaudy nobles sitting on gaudy thrones. One woman rises when she sees you. Lady Two Skies. That's my necklace. What are you doing with it, Eo Present? I ask the questions, lady. There are gasps and young man laden with jewellery yells. Show respect, peasant, or I shall have your tongue. Put a hand on your arco. Enough, I wish to hear what the peasant has to say. But he must go through the proper channels. The other nobles cheer. What are the proper channels? We are Canex, peasant. We settle all with duels. Very well, if the peasant can best my nephew Cax in a duel, I shall speak with him. But I can easily beat this old man Lady Two Skies. If Cax wins, we shall flay the peasant alive and string him up for all to see. The bloodthirsty Canic nobles cheer again. I'll do your nephew. I trust this duel will be fought to my satisfaction. Lady Two Skies sharp looks sharply at her nephew. He nods and gives you an angry look as he cracks his knuckles. Right, we have 7 XP. We have an open slot. We can take AoE lob shot. It's all we can take. But hey, we have it now. Ah, I pressed W by mistake. Got it. Zero damage, poisonous on hit. He's moving to where we are stood. Deflect. Return any projectiles that are hit during this turn. Move. Still two damage on touch. Deflect. Nice. There's two damage on touch. Interrupts. But we know where you're going. So. Oh, he didn't move. Melee attack, two damage. Oh, we have dodge roll now as well. I'd say this is going well. I want to be out of here. We need to regain some energy. Deflect any, return any projectiles. That's not a projectile. All right, I'm glad that's gone much better than the giant beetle did. Lots of new skills available. There are groans as Cax drops to his knees, but many nobles still cheer. The bloodshed seems to put them in a good mood. Now, peasant, well fought. Tell me how you have this necklace. An Io village was burned to the ground. I killed the Red Company bastards who did it and found this necklace there. You friendly with the Red Company? My aunt wouldn't help the Red Company if they offered all the jewels in the city. Looks like you're already wearing them. Fool, the Red Company are my sworn enemies. How'd your endless necklace end up there? It was lost long ago, along with my brother. 
It rightfully belongs to me, but now it is probably cursed after all it's been through. You may keep it. What makes you enemies? The Red Company kidnapped a boy once long ago. He wouldn't be the first. That boy was the heir to House Chanil, my older brother. When I became ruler, I swore to have vengeance. We've been at war with the Red Company since. What happened to the boy? He was sent as a newcomer to a newcomer mission, given a newcomer name, raised in newcomer ways. It's a common enough tale, and one you know well. A sickness killed him eventually, but he was dead to us long before then. After nursing your own hatred against the Red Company for decades, you recognize the lady's genuine hatred for them. The Red Company are like rabid dogs that must be put down. On that, we agree. What will you do next? For decades, you've been killing the Red Company men where you find them, but it's time you took them all out. Go to Tamanos to look for their HQ. It's time to set the kennel on fire. Gain 10 XP, new journal. Twenty XP. Now we're getting somewhere. So we can go multiple projections in a cone. Long range lob shot lands next turn. I think I like that. Two damage, three magia, cooldown one. Three damage, three magia, no cooldown. Increase range and damage, no interrupt. Damage 3, Magia 2. Damage 2, Magia 2. Let's... Equip that. Ranged attacks pierce through multiple enemies for 3 turns. Pierce buff. That'll be interesting later, I'm sure. Anything else we can do in this throne room? No, can't cause a fuss. You leave the palace. Cax catches up to you. Hey, peasant. I wish to join you. Why would you want to join me? The honor of House Channel is at stake. How's that? Lady Two Skies swore a vengeance on the Red Company. As her heir, it is my duty to help you. And why would I want you joining me? I am a Canic warrior. Our fighting prowess is legendary. I, be I beat you in the duel. My aunt wanted answers as much as you did. I let you beat me. I understand. You can come on one condition. Call me Tizo. Very well, peasant Tizo. Something wrong, peasant Tizo. Just never mind. I wonder if they will fight alongside us then. The bushes rustle and Canucks emerge from the forest. You lost Eo? It's not your land. They grin, eager for a fight. Halt, the Eo peasant is with me. Noble Cax, I'm sorry we didn't see you there. Canucks apologize and even provide you with supplies. Glowing mushrooms? I could get used to that. Indeed, Peasant Tizo. You are lucky I'm with you. So we're here in the forest? Off track of anywhere? Interesting. Alright, so we've come out here. Can we go back here? Seems not right now, which is interesting. To our camp or the cacti farm. Let's go cacti farm. The tall cacti remind you that you're close to Tamanos. Got to find the Red Company headquarters. Blood, ain't a good sign. Cacti farmer, excuse me, I could use some help. Something's tearing up our cacti. They're our livelihood, you know. My neighbor was attacked the other day. He didn't see what it was, but I think it's the same thing. Can you help? I'll look. Pest control. Something is destroying the cacti. Get rid of it. Beetle juice. Be the main quest. Road to Terminos. Terminos. Tuag camp. That's a lot of folks. Huh. Excuse me while I sip my beverage. One of the traders paces back and forth looking grim. What's going on? Oh, it's nothing. Just some Tamano guards. They've been giving us a hard time. What for? 
couple Tuags made a big heist over the Tamanos not too long ago, so of course the Tamano guards think it's their business to go harassing every Tuag near the city. Uh, oh well. Hey, have you checked out our wares yet? Best have a look. Uh, trader. Ooh, lots of stuff. We can sell gold for seven. Haven't seen what the mushrooms do yet. We have 18. Throwing knives. Desert truffles. Wraith cap. Flask of sap. Throwable makes target disarmed and poisoned. Chunk of Bembericua. Contains corrosive sap, makes your attack poison. Meat, dynamite. Um, let's see what a desert truffle does. Uh, removes all status effects. Interesting. Glowing mushroom store... Stories say they grow from tears of spirits, plus two magia in combat. Okay, our equipment is getting bigger. I should probably use more of this stuff rather than just holding it and think I can get. Get by without doing anything for anything else. A nomad two egg tribe has made camp here. Yeah, I came in from the other side, mate. Now, will this other node have the cacti eating creatures, perhaps? Is there something here? The investigator chewed up cactus. Uh, set bait. Set the bait. A sandworm emerges to snatch the tree. Oh. You can change characters with the tab key. Interesting. Hopefully this doesn't become too overwhelming. Uh, arrow shot two. Shoot arrows. Fire a lob. Jump. Deal damage on landing. No interrupt. Close combat elbow hit. Deflect incoming projectiles. They're all shooting. Well, you... Oh, you don't have... These are all very expensive things. That's a problem. Well, that worked out nicely. They're about to burrow, if I had to guess. Uh, we're in the path of that, which is not ideal. There's some other creature here as well, by the looks of it. Can we close this gap faster?
All right, three experience. I'm assuming I can't level Cax up. Doesn't look like we can. Found anything yet? Worms. No way it was a worm. It bit off my neighbor's leg. They get big here. Fine, it's just too weird to make up. Pick a reward. 12 gold, two gold nuggets, four bandages. Nuggets, I guess. Seems like our smell isn't bothering anybody anymore. Oh, goody. Bandits, you think? A squad of Tamana guards are ahead. They look pissed off. Maybe we'll need this in a second. Who knows? Not me. That's close enough. We've had enough problems with savages lately. Maybe you know something about that. Strange, we've also had our problems with savages. Let them pass. Can't you see they ain't two eggs? We've got enough to do without doing customs work. The tired older guard looks at you. Hey, you seen a couple two eggs around here? They made off with some goods that don't belong to them. Typical two egg scum. Ha! The only scum we see is you. Isn't that so? Is that not so, peasant Tizo? Tone it down, Cax. This ain't the time to pick a fight. City gate's just ahead. Alright, not so bad. Tamanos. Big Bug is back there. Man, these are bigger than our little tent towns, aren't they? You spot a familiar round figure in the crowd next to a bigger rounder figure. It's Adzi leading a big round cow. The donkey is with him too. No one forgot about the donkey. Teaser old man, what are you doing here? Got some men to kill. So, same old, same old, huh? It's a miracle you survived this long considering the violence you dove into. How'd you end up here? Well, I lost most of my money in the monks and then I ran into some newcomers. They taught me how to play poker. You ever play? I managed to win this cow, but... He lowers his voice. I don't get along so well with my donkey. So, I'm going to sell the cow, find a good tavern where I can gamble the way the proceeds. I understand. Glad I get to see you again, Tizo. Well, good luck. I pray for your survival. Success is more, more important. That too, old man. Bolt, a bored-looking clerk, stops at the you at the entrance. State your business. Um, looking for work? And I am here to win glory for House Channel. I'll put down looking for opportunities. Next. Where can I find the Red Company? Do I look like a tour guide? Anyway, everyone knows Red Company headquarters is a closely guarded secret. El Gallo doesn't like anybody finding his hideout. El Gallo? El Gallo is the Red Company leader. Everybody knows that. What about a local hangout? They must drink somewhere. Secrets and Pies is a tavern where all the Red Company men go. Everyone knows that. Next. Secrets and Pies is in the center of town. You can see just from the outside it's full of Red Company men. Looks like an entire army. Let us storm in and announce ourselves. I got another idea. It's time for a stakeout. You decide to lie and wait for someone to come out. Then you have a nice chit chat about where the Secret Red Company headquarters might be. Yeah, a real nice chit chat. All right, ahead of that chit chat, I think that is a good breaking point for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, hit that like button and subscribe for more so you know when the next episode arrives. And I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.